Yeah, I don't have a clever intro. I think it was accomplished, but I'm satisfied because you subverted my expectations. Yay! Right? Today we're reviewing the new album Descent from Orbit Culture. <laughs> Just hearing this single from the inside was more than enough to get me hyped to listen to this thing. That track is just fucking craterously heavy while also managing to still keep things dynamic and interesting with elements of glitchy electronics and especially the synth and piano that open it up into some truly epic territory. <laughs> Probably a good summary of this band in general, even for the new listeners out there. And speaking of which, are you new to the band? A long-time listener, sound off in the comments. Oh, don't be shy. Love the tapping riff on Black Mountain, alternating with the chuggy parts. Great mix of harsh and clean vocals, along with some backing ones later on, building an awesome atmosphere for a very impactful opener. Sorrow's mix seems a little less balanced, with the chorus in particular feeling like it needed a few more drafts. But I do really love the transition to the faster part and ultimately more progressive sections about halfway through. Vultures of the North is another ripper of a single with Nicholas sounding absolutely primal alongside the chugging palm mutes and whatever that horror movie anxiety provoking backing track is. Absolutely harrowing. <laughs> Fuck me. More serious head bob inducing groove to alienated sounding almost industrial metal at times. Always nice to hear so many heavy tracks, but with each still having a different texture and approach to its execution. Similar notes for Undercity and Descent. Nicholas is really front and center on these and just a monster, but both also contain some pretty cool surprises the deeper you get into them. Alternatively, the Isle of Fire goes for a more atmospheric approach, even incorporating strings. The vocals get a little little yarly on this one, but it comes together in the end with some fantastic riffing, too. And then Through Time takes things to especially dramatic heights for an incredibly powerful closer. I feel like this is the reaction that Sleep Token is going for, but it doesn't come off as even 10% as raw and genuine. Is that like a personal attack or something? Turning to my three scales, I give Descent a 9 for enjoyability. Thanks to the great pacing and dynamics, I'm fully engaged in this album all the way through, even on a physical level. There are a few moments here and there with some more yarly, half-baked sounding clean vocal moments that take me out of it, but besides that, it's a front-to-back banger. I give it a 9 for musicianship. Again, the songwriting here is fantastic. Lots of fun twists and turns to keep you guessing, but without ever forgetting that it's a hard-hitting metal album in the process. Furthermore, there are plenty of impressive performances here from all members, with again my only point of complaint being just a little bit more care and finesse put into the clean vocals. And I give it an 8 for innovation. Certainly not the most original or unique album I've ever heard, but there are more than enough special touches and risks taken to put it at least above average on this scale. So an 8.7 overall and a B plus for Orbit Culture's Descent. Y'all check out this playlist for my favorite metal albums of the year so far by month, and again, let me know your own thoughts down in the comments comments, but that'll do it for now. Flight of Icarus signing off. I will see you in the trenches.